Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be doing a three-tone fall tumbler. I'm still on a fall kick and I'm really excited about this one because I think it's going to be really pretty. So, to start off, I am using a 30 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Crafts. I'll put the link down in the description. And I just base painted it white from Rust-Oleum. For the glitters, these are so pretty. They're all from the Glitter Grind. This one is Sand Castle. This one is Pumpkin Spice and Burgundy. So these together scream fall and I'm obsessed with this. So, so aside from my tumbler and the glitters, I have my Mod Podge with a makeup brush and some wide painter's tape. All of it can be bought from Amazon. So with all of that being said, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do first is take my tumbler with this wide painter's tape and I'm just going to pick a spot. I don't want it to be exactly in the middle, just a little bit below the middle here. And I'm going to tape that off because I don't want to get any glitter on that spot just yet. So I'm trying to make it as straight as I can here and I think that's good. So just press it down really good. I don't want any glitter to get on there yet and now I'm going to Mod Podge and glitter this and this so, so on this side I want to put the sandcastle and here at the bottom I want to do the burgundy so I'm gonna start with the burgundy I like to start with my darker colors first just because I'm afraid of getting that dark color up around the top where that sandcastle is and I really don't want those to mix and I might have to do a couple coats of the glitter here because I didn't base paint the same color as my glitter. I just did everything white. So I may have to do a couple coats of at least the burgundy. So yeah, I am going to do a second coat. I don't see if you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see some of the white paint coming through. But before I do a second coat, I need to seal it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and wait for that Mod Podge to dry. And then I'll seal it and add another coat. So moving on, I'm going to Mod Podge this top section and that's where the gold sandcastle glitter is going to go. Oh this is so pretty. It's like a medium chunky mix and it is absolutely stunning. It's got a little bit of a holographic look to it. There we go. And I don't think I'm going to have to do another coat of that. That one actually looks really super good. So now I'm going to give it about five minutes to let this Mod Podge dry and then seal all of it. But I'm going to add another coat of glitter to this burgundy part down here. All right, so a second coat of glitter definitely helped that. And now it's time to remove this tape. And I cannot find for the life of me where it started. So I'm hoping I can just like, there we go, make my own path here. Just cutting it with my X-Acto knife, trying not to mess up the glitter. And I've got such shaky hands, it's unreal. Oh, and I messed it up, look at that. Go, Courtney, look at you. There we go. I'll just have to fix that little burgundy piece, but it should be okay. Oh no, that's just where the tape was. Cool. Oh no, there it is. Crap. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what we have thus far. All right, you guys, so now it's time to get some glitter on this middle part here. For the middle section, I'm using a glitter called Pumpkin Spice from the Glitter Grind. It's a gorgeous, chunky mix, and it has a hint of green in there. Super pretty. So I'm going to try to kind of skip a step, I guess, and instead of putting Mod Podge on it, I'm going to paint it. And that almost got to where I didn't want it, so I'm glad I was able to stop that. But I'm going to paint directly on to my tumbler here and kind of use that as my adhesive for this glitter. Now while the paint is still wet, I'm just going to go ahead and shake on this gorgeous glitter. I really think all of these colors go together really well and just really get me even more excited for fall than what I already am. <laughs> So since this is a chunky glitter, I'm going to go through with my finger and just very gently tap down here and there where there's some pieces sticking up to make sure that everything is laying good and flat on that tumbler. And this is what we have. So now I've got this completely glittered. I think this is so, so pretty. I love all of the colors together. So I'm going to wait about five or 10 minutes and let that paint with the orange glitter dry and then go over everything again with my Rust-Oleum two times sealant, then pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm gonna say two coats and then I will come back and show you guys the next step. All right guys, so I have some bad news. Um, this is the second time this has happened to me. I finished filming, putting on the decals of the tumbler and I even just finished filming, um, you know, my the end of my videos, I did a positive quote and I even took a picture of the tumbler for the thumbnail and none of it saved. This is the second time it's happened to me. Um, if you remember in my true crime tumbler video, um, I mentioned halfway through that it did it again and I had to remake the tumbler. This one is going to take a lot longer to remake leading up to putting the decals on. So, um, if you guys have any questions further, please let me know, but this is the finished look. The only thing that, um, for some reason the camera, I don't know if it's the camera to blame or the memory card. I have no idea. The camera is relatively new, um, less than a year old. So I'm not totally sure, but this is a finished look. All I did was a basic water slide decal and I'll make sure to put the link to this file um, it's from Etsy. I'll put it in my description. And then all I did here was I took some of this really pretty textured gold vinyl that I got from Amazon. I'll also make sure to link that down in the description. Um, I got onto my Cricut Design Space and I put in a square and I made it 11 inches long by 0 0.2 inches wide. Cut it out and just wrapped it around here and epoxied over it. Um, I have no idea what's going on. If anybody else has experienced this, please let me know and let me know if like you figured it out. Um, my camera is a Canon EOS M50. It's done fantastic up until here recently. So like I said, I don't know if it's the camera or if it's the memory card. Um, I would try buying a new memory card first because the camera was kind of expensive. So I don't want to buy another one if I don't have to. But this is the finished look. I think it's really pretty. I really love how all of the colors go together. Um, and it just gives me all the fall vibes. So before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity. And today's quote is, you're going to go through tough times. That's life. But I say, nothing happens to you. It happens for you. See the positive and negative events. And that was said by Joel Austin. 
And like the quote, I'm trying to think of the positive, um, at least you guys got to see all of the glittering process up until the point of epoxy and putting on decals. And the decal process was extremely simple, just a water slide and wrapping around um, a stripe around the middle colors. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, please ask. I am so, so, so sorry this happened. Um, you guys got to see the more difficult part of it. Um, just the decaling you guys did not get to see and I am a thousand times so sorry but that's all I have for you guys today I hope you all enjoyed what you were able to see and I'm gonna try to get this figured out with my camera um, like I said if anybody else has experienced it please let me know because it is definitely frustrating um, but I'm gonna try to get it figured out so if you guys have any questions like always please feel free to comment don't forget to subscribe be kind love one another and I will see you in the next one bye